Tapper right side. Kiermaier is tagged out. The ball loose. And everybody's going to be safe. How about that? What happened there? He may missed him and he threw to second base, I believe. What happened there? I mean, I, it disappeared. Ground ball. I think he missed the tag. No. no the, ball dropped dropped. The, ball. the ball dropped. And it rolled. Knocked it right out of his glove. To Xander at second base. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's I didn't see it. You couldn't see the ball no. come out of his glove. And he's in the baseline. I mean, yes, that, he that's, is. that's legal right there. That's all he's trying legal. to get to the ball. Before he okay, get the, the word baseline out because that has nothing to do with this play. The only thing that is relevant to replay because they can't review interference on replay is whether the ball beat the runner, whether the runner beat the ball. This is the still image shows the ball touching the glove. Remember, that's the standard MLB uses for replay review and the runner not yet touching the base. Therefore, the ball has beaten Kiermaier and Kiermaier is thus out on the force play. Now, let's review the actual meat and potatoes of this call. What happened there? The MLB umpire manual is going to help us out with interference. While contact may occur between a fielder and runner during a tag attempt, a runner is not allowed to use hands or arms to commit an obviously malicious or unsportsmanlike act. So watch Kiermaier's right arm. Everyone sees the elbow come up after the contact. But what happens before? If I'm looking for intent, if I'm looking for an intentional infraction here, willful, deliberate, whatever language you want to use, because they're all very similar, I'm looking for something before the contact to indicate that the runner intended to do something. And I see the contact, I see the follow through, but I don't see the wind up phase that I'm looking for to indicate intent. Your mileage may vary, but in my estimation, I don't see the conclusive evidence to show that there was an intentional act before the contact that the runner intended to hit the fielder. Remember, the runner doesn't have to give themselves up to the fielder. There can be contact, as the interpretation clearly states. Compare and contrast that with Alex Rodriguez and Arroyo, where you clearly see a wind-up of the player who's trying to cheat, I mean, commit interference that is intentional. That's the wind-up I'm talking about. If I don't see that, I have a much more difficult time establishing that the contact was intentional, deliberately malicious, and unsportsmanlike. The process of running, that's trying right. to knock the ball right. out. Right, that's clearly with one purpose in mind, and that's to knock the ball out of the glove. That's a good analysis. Clearly is a good word. The MLB umpire manual uses obvious, but it's similar. A-Rod was clearly trying to do something illegal. Kiermaier is running the bit. You're allowed to run between the bases. You're allowed to pump your arms when you run. My only thing is, is there enough deviation from his normal running motion to suggest that what he was doing was intentionally trying to interfere with a fielder? In my estimation, looking at the replays, I don't see it you might see it i don't and clearly the umpires on the field did not either and as the explanation is given to cora the runners declared out at second base because as a result of the review the ball beat the runner and the runner at first base the batter runner is allowed to remain there because this was not offensive interference just to drive that point home the elbow that comes up afterward i'm looking at it as an ex post facto inadmissibility thing I'm not going to use that to determine what happened prior to the play. If they're all else equal is a 50-50 call like this, where the word obvious is used, if it's 50-50, by definition, it's not obvious to me. Therefore, I have no interference. Specifically because for this precise play, the interference must be an intentional act. He never had that long enough. Never. Does Bogey catch it in time? Wow, that is so close. But it's four unassisted? See, you, you call him safe at second, too. The umpire originally called him safe at second. The question I have is, did he chicken wing it a bit with that elbow? Yeah, but that, that's okay. 